Hey everybody, welcome back to Rink's Garage. Today's video, we're gonna go over how we turned this into this fancy machine right here. Uh, it was a zero turn lawnmower, as you see. We turned it into a snowblower. So we're gonna do an in-depth video, kind of the whole build. Going over, we'll go over how much it cost, how many hours it took, and a little snow blow in action. So enjoy. <laughs> So, what we have here is a late 90s, early 2000s snapper, 60 inch zero turn rider. That was my grandpa's. And we're going to turn it into a snowblower. Uh, plan is, mount snowblower on the back, where we got the old belt drive for the deck, so we'll come up with something for a PTO shaft there and then we'll end up turning the seat around sitting on it backwards kinda like a reverse Dallas shouldn't have to do too much with the steering and everything but first thing we're gonna do is what Peyton? take off the deck take the deck off take the seat off anything that we don't need we got progress Got all the deck and linkage and all that stuff taken off. Got the wiring ripped out of it. Just pulled the harness out. We're going to end up redoing all that stuff. And then this is the housing we had bent up for the snowblower. It's going to have a 54 inch snowblower. And then we'll have to come up with some sort of hydraulic lift for that. So. Just about ready to cut out the fan housing. I got the hole cutter 400 all rigged up here on the plasma cutter. We'll cut out that circle for the housing and then I got some other steel over here. We'll have to cut out some end plates and also we'll take a strip out of this six inch strip that we'll have to roll up for the housing itself. So let's get to cutting.
All right, so we got the housing all welded up. What we had cut, uh, we got it cleaned up a little bit. So now we got to finish off the chute. We got to take this little piece out of here and then we'll box that out. Put a filler piece in up top and on this side. And then the chute will be done and then we can move on to uh, getting our fan and bearings and everything mounted. We got our bearings in for our fan shaft. All bolted in and mounted down. Got some gussets on our lift brace. We got these fancy spline couplers that on this side, this is what our sprocket will weld to that'll run over to the jack shaft and the gearbox to get the power from the motor to. On the fan side, we got kind of the same deal. It's got a spline on it. And this is actually a PTO shaft out of a 70 John Deere. Worked pretty good. So we got this hub and this is what our fan will be mounted to. And that'll go on there. All right, so I went ahead and got the uh, pulley set up, finished up, bolted on for now. We'll have to get some belts, finish up the tightener back there. But that should be good. That'll gear us down half to 1800 RPMs and then of course our power shaft will come up there. So then we can move on to getting the blower set up. So we'll have another jack shaft here with a sprocket running this sprocket and then another little one that'll run over to this gearbox that'll transfer the chain out to the auger. Before we can get that uh, wrapped up, we'll probably go ahead over here and weld up the fan so we can get that installed. All right, so we got the fan all welded up. So we'll stick her on and hopefully it's balanced pretty good. Should be able to tell if it rolls one way or the other. Well, after about a half hour grinding, we got the fan to fit. I'd take about an eighth inch off, but now she goes pretty good. Add about an eighth inch of clearance there. So that should work pretty good. So we made a little bit of progress on the back of the blower here. I got uh, sprockets on with the jack shaft. Got a chain on it. Uh, whipped up this little power shaft, which not sure if that's going to work or not. It's kind of short, but wanted to keep it overall as close as I could because right now we're out. Out about as far as the back end is so she might be a little light in the back but we're gonna have a cab on there uh, I'll be sitting back there so that hopefully will offset it enough when we lift it it doesn't lift the back end off the ground all right so we got some uh, lift arms fabbed up a couple pieces of angle iron and some random gussets that I had welded them on there match drilled the holes so they're the same length so, I got this all squared up, we'll throw a bolt in here on the arm, get it all situated up there and tack her on. We got some linkage hooked up, kind of. So I took some of that angle iron I had that I used down here, built myself a little hoop on the front, and this will work good too because that'll be... We're going to put a little hood on so that can be the front of the hood. But basically used up a bunch of the lawnmower parts. This was the part that lifted the deck. We got the auger installed. So basically we just got a flush mount bearing each end with a one inch shaft through. Here's our sprocket. Then I welded them augers on and I put a couple paddles in the middle, scoop the snow into the fan. So basically next we'll have to cut a hole through the back wall here for the chain to go through. The chain will come through and then we'll hook up our gearbox 
So that'll come and sit sideways with the little sprocket on it to drive that. So we'll have to put a mount up here and that gearbox has got a flange on it. All right, so we got the gearbox all mounted. Got some chains on her. Got my hole cut in the back. Where the chain goes through. We are gonna need a tightener on this guy. I'll have to pick up an idler pulley. The other ones are pretty good for now. They'll get a little slack in them as we use it. But. We got the turnbuckle on, threw a jam nut on here so you can lock it. So we should just be able to turn this, adjust the pitch of the blower if she's digging in too much or if we want to cut some more. Got the idler welded on, so that should get rid of our chain jumping around. So now we need to mount the lift cylinder. All right, we got the lift cylinder mounted. So I got that arm welded on. Just got a bolt in there and then you can see back there, but I welded a four inch channel back here to the frame and that comes up with a bolt in it here. It's gonna get pretty close here when it raises cause that's gonna go back a little bit, but I think it'll be fine. This will get welded on just like that in our spout. We'll get built off of this piece. So this will get welded into this ring and then we can drill some holes around this with a clip so that this can spin underneath it. All right, we got the chute welded up. So set her on there, went ahead and made a little flipper for the end. Cut out the plastic donut, so that'll go on there. We got the spout mounted. She'll spin like that. Also, we got a spout flipper electricized. So I got that little seat motor on there so we can go up or down still got to get spout turner on but the main thing we need a cab and we got her in the shop all right, so we got her all stripped down, got the roof off, doors out and everything. So basically, next step is we'll take a cutoff wheel and slice her right in front of this door post, all the way across the bottom, basically separate this front part off, and then cut this tin work out of inside of here. And then I think we'll try and get it set on the mower, see how it looks. I think it's going to work, Peyton. So, got the frame all welded up, solid. Got a bunch of sheet metal cut for all the patch panels, cover everything up. So, got the floor plate, that's 3 16 so that'll be heavier. That's just going to get welded across them angles down there. So, we got a nice heavy duty floor. And that'll be to the angle, so you can still take the cab off if you need to. And the rest of the panels are just some. I don't know, it's 14 gauge, similar to what's on here. So we'll tack all them in. As you guys can see, we have a cab. 90% finished.
Got all the glass in, cleaned her up. I uh, got the door finished up, glass in the back, all our panels are welded in. We got some LED lights. I got a tarp motor that we're going to use for the chute spinner. Might be a little overkill, but it'll definitely be strong enough. I got some terminal strips for all the wiring we got to do in the cab. We got a windshield wiper, definitely going to need that and some tire chains. Okay, we got the motor mounted on there. Got my chain on. So basically I just welded this bracket in. A couple set screws in the sprocket because I don't have a keyway. So hopefully that holds up. But Ran the chain around and just put two bolts in it here and here to hold it. So basically it's only going to go to right about here. Nice and smooth. So basically, right there is where you're going to go max this way. Something like that, that way. So it does go 180 degrees straight each way, which is what we need. All right, we got our little clothes out. I did 10 inches. If we have to we can always cut this out if it slows it down too much but i think it'll be all right got that tacked on so now we can move on to doing some wiring so basically i got to run a wire from this motor i'll jump over get that up in the cab uh we're gonna have a couple lights here one in the back figure out something inside the cab for a switch panel and we'll get that battery taken off move that down next to the seat so Start running some wires. We got a hood. Just got some random brass hinges I had threw on. Uh, it's just 050 aluminum that I bent up. Flips up so we can work on everything. Uh, I got the wiring ran underneath there all up into the cab. So. I think we'll put a piece in the front too just to keep moisture out of there and this on top and leave the sides open that'll be enough to keep that motor I think from sucking in too much snow but I did get pick up some little rubber bungee hinges so we'll put a little bungee cord on each side to hold the hood down hopefully keep it from rattling too much all right we got the hood finished up got a piece in the front got some headlights on her so got to put a light in the back Got that light mounted. We got our carpet up in the ceiling. I think I got everything in here I need for wiring. Bent up a little dash panel, so we'll put our switches for the spout up and down and turn in here. And then we'll put this other switch panel I had up in top. For running the engine. Get that all wired in. We'll be pretty close to having her finished, I think. Well, we got the cab all buttoned up inside, I think. Doesn't look too bad. Got her panel in, all the wires ran down to the battery. Everything actually worked out other than the lift. This one's backwards. Shoot turner and spout. All right. All the other switches work. I haven't started it up. We got lights. So we can blow in the dark. All right, we got the shop somewhat cleaned up. So next we'll go see if we can throw these chains on. Uh, they're probably gonna be a little long. I just grabbed like a normal lawnmower size chain. Not sure if they're long enough, but. There you go. Not the easiest thing to do, but. They're nice and tight, so that should give us some good traction.
go. That's the entire build of the Zero Turn Snowblower. Uh, if you would like a little more in-depth stuff, we do have five videos, a little longer in length, more details on everything on the channel. So go check them out, and if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe. We'll see you next time.